Fighting games have existed long before Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat came along. These games existed as a genre that we like to call the beat em up. Today I will be playing Final Fight, a game that set the bar for games that followed. This show is unscripted so anything can happen at any time. So buckle up, crack open a cold one, and get ready. I'm Danny, and welcome to the Retro Crash and Burn. What's up everybody? How's it going? Welcome to another exciting episode of the Crash and Burn. We are playing a game called Final Fight. This game, let's go, let's go ahead and get started. I used to love this game as a kid. Uh, made by Capcom in the 89. There's all kinds of random trivia. I can tell you about this game. Uh, I was at Kroger, of all places. See, back in the 80s, there, everywhere you went had a little arcade games. And uh, Kroger was one of them. And uh, I played Final Fight for the first time. This is a beat em up. There were a lot of them back then. This is before Street Fighter II started the fighting game craze. It was, it was all about the double dragons and the and final fight and Streets of Rage. Actually, Streets of Rage didn't come out till later. But. There were so many games that they were just like this, but this one, I think this one set the bar. Uh, in fact, Streets of Rage actually copied off of this game so many ways. And, and Streets of Rage is actually very comparable to this game. But, uh, I think the arcade game, the arcade version of this is so much better, in my opinion. But that's arguable, though. So, uh, I've been a little busy. If y'all haven't heard... Uh, there's this girl I've been dating for a while, about 11 months now. She is not my girlfriend anymore. What happened? Uh, we're engaged now. So yeah, I'm very uh, excited about that. Uh, and the wedding is in just a few months. <laughs> so it's uh, got a lot going on. So. Uh, Hopefully I can still keep these videos coming. It also doesn't help that I got back into Destiny. So, uh, my friend DJ Sweet talked me into uh, getting back on it. Uh, I wanted to have him as a guest, but uh, that that's a little too hard to make happen, so he's, he's got three kids, and so I decided to just go ahead and we'll, we'll, we'll do that later. Yeah, this game, this game still holds up pretty well. But yeah, I'm excited. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and start the music. Uh, this groovy ass song comes from a band called Shapes. It's called One Man Army. Uh, enjoy.
And that was One Man Army by the band Shapes. So, a uh, little piece of info. This is uh, this band comes from the UK. Uh, is uh, fronted by uh, vocalist Griffin Dickinson, who is the son of Bruce Dickinson from Iron Maiden. That is, if you didn't know that, that is something you know now. Uh, you're welcome. But yeah, that, that band's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed the song. That's, uh, I think that's our latest single. I don't think the album is out yet. I don't even know what the new album is. I'll play something from their uh, other album later. So yeah, Final Fight. Uh... Like I said, it really, it, it really set the bar. There have been so many other amazing beat em ups. Uh, I don't know if this was the first one I played or not. It might have been the Ninja Turtles game. Uh, the, oh, the Ninja Turtles game was an amazing beat em up. Sodom, the Samurai. Oh, oh, oh. So most of the characters from this game I'm gonna switch characters. Actually, most of the characters in this game have gone have been featured in Street Fighter, except for this guy, Hagar. Uh, Sodom was uh, in Street Fighter Alpha, so it was Guy. Cody came later. And speaking of Street Fighter, oh, we've ever seen this before. I didn't see this stage till later in life. Hey, it's from Street Fighter. So this was actually supposed to be the sequel to Street Fighter. Not Street Fighter 2, but the original Street Fighter that's really crappy. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm the mayor. I can beat up your car if I want to. Yeah, this game, games like this are just so satisfying. 
or monotonous. But they're satisfying. Something about one man beating the crap out of every body on the screen is just satisfying. Double Dragon was the. It wasn't the first beat em up, but it was a. Uh, it made them made these this genre kind of popular. I don't have a whole lot of nostalgia with that game. With that game, uh, I did like uh, Double Dragon Two for the uh, NES. The NES version was way different, but it was really good. It was, and, that's really the only real good one. So the first one ain't really that good. Except for... Unless you're just nostalgic about it. Uh, the, third, the third one was just... Was just atrocious. Yeah, one of my, uh, one of my favorite beat 'em ups of all time is Ninja Turtles: Turtles in Time on the Super NES. One of the most satisfying games in existence. So simple yet so satisfying. I've been waiting for Hagar to be in Street Fighter for the longest time. Andor's in it. Well, they changed his name to Hugo for some reason. Uh, Poison's in it now. Uh, Rolento is in it. One of the bosses you'll see later. Sodom's in it. Abigail is in it, which is the big... He's in Street Fighter V. Not doing well. Oh, damn. Shit. There we go. Pipe is the weapon of choice here. Unless you're Cody. You want the knife. So I've had a pretty bit busy week this week. Uh, went to Nashville, did my last uh, Spartan race of the season. Uh, it was really fun because uh, Saturday I did really well, uh, just over three hours, about halfway up the ranks. I'm not. I'm, not, I'm by no means the best Spartan on the planet. No, I'm getting. I'm getting a lot better at it. Uh, Uh, I almost went burpee free up until the very end of it. Uh, the rope climb, I couldn't get up the rope, and that was right at the end. And uh, it's disappointing, but it was also awesome that I did so well. This boss hadn't been featured in Street Fighter yet. Yeah, I remember oh, when Ultra Street Fighter 4 was coming out. Uh, guy, guy and Cody were already 
in the game. And it's all Poison, Hugo, Relento, like all the Mad Gear characters. I'm like, oh my god. Then there's, there's like a a new mystery character coming out. I'm like, oh my god, they're finally gonna put Hagar in it. I'm like, sweet. And then uh, my hopes and dreams are shattered when uh, another Kami clone came out. I'm like, what, what, what? What the hell, guys? Ser seriously? All right, let's switch to another character. By the way, this is, this is an arcade port of the original Final Fight. It is designed to eat your money. So I'm going to be dying a whole lot. But I have infinite continues, so... I'm actually over halfway through the game. If you can believe that. This will not be an hour-long episode. So yeah, there's probably millions of people petitioning to put Hagar into Street Fighter. Everyone else is, literally everyone else is in Street Fighter, except for Hagar. They put him in Marvel vs. Capcom, but that doesn't count. Especially that new one. Oh no! He's my least favorite character. Cool thing he can do is bounce off the walls. But there's only so many walls in this game, so... I got an extra life, yo! Probably not gonna be switching back to this guy. To this guy named Guy. He doesn't have a last name either. The other two characters have last names. And he doesn't really have a relation to uh, the other two. So Cody is Jessica's girlfriend. Jessica is the girl in the red dress that you see at the beginning. And Hagar is. Jessica's father. The guy's just a friend. Happens to be a ninja. In an orange jumpsuit. What's up with... I don't know what's up with ninjas in orange jumpsuits. Yeah, I can change characters now. Let's go back to Cody. Damn. It's not usually. It's usually it's not the boss. That's difficult. It's all the. It's all his buddies. So I'm actually playing this via the Capcom beat 'em up bundle on play on PS4. Uh, you can get it for about 20 bucks, I think. It's got a bunch of other games too. Got Captain Commando and Knights of the Round and several others. 
There's a couple I've never even heard of. If you're in the Memphis area, you can actually play this in its pure form at the Rec Room. My favorite little bar and arcade. Yay. And that was Rolento. You can play as him in a bunch of the Street Fighter games. And yeah, if uh, beating up a car wasn't awesome enough, I'm break somebody's glass. I don't know why this has such significance. Yeah! I broke glass and my fingers aren't bloody. So the boss of this level is, uh, he's the newest addition to the Street Fighter games. I don't remember the name of it, but there's this really cool indie film. I mean, it was, you can tell it's an indie, indie film, but it was really good. It's basically a prequel to this. Uh, the guy who played Cody was, he did, a, did a fantastic job. I don't know his name. I don't know any of the actors' names. Uh, but you see Hagar getting uh, sworn into office. Some thug attacks him, and he beats the piss out of him. Uh, really good, really good film. I'll, 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 I'll push, post a link to that. You can check it out for yourself. It's really good, guys. Check it out. It's, it's, it's like 20 minutes long I think it's not it's not very long it's a short very short film this it is so good again I, li I like the guy who played it the guy who played uh, Cody did a fantastic job he had a he had a little beanie hat on and he looked just like him and look a puppy Uh, it's Bill Bull, not to be confused with Bald Bull from Punch Out. He actually does the bull charge. So there was another Capcom game that Hagar is featured in. It's called Saturday Night Slam Masters. Uh, uh, Capcom wrestling game. I don't know much, too much about it, but I know Hagar is in it, with, along with a bunch of other characters. I, I played it on a uh, one of those little multi-cade things, like very briefly. You never beat it or anything. And I believe it, it also has console versions of it. Speaking of, the console version of this game wasn't very good. Uh, There's only one player. And there were no cutscenes. Which, uh, it, it was, this was early, it was early Super NES. It was like, it was one of the launch titles for the Super Nintendo, so. At the time, there was only so much you could do. Uh, some of the technology hadn't come out yet. Like the, uh, like the, uh, the special effects chip, whatever it's called, uh, Super FX. Like those little microchips, they, they just stick into the cartridges. Stuff like that is what made, that gave Nintendo a, hu a, a humongous edge over Sega. 
Yeah, Nintendo eventually won the console war. But hey, Sega put up a hell of a fight, though. Can't uh, can't fail them for trying. They did well. I never played a 32X though, so I can't really. I hear that one was not very good. I never played Sega CD either. So recently I was at the rec room. I don't know the guy's name. There's this black dude up there playing Final Fight and tearing this game a new one. I've I've never seen anyone do this well. He 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 got like he was all the way up in this level on one coin. I was like, dude. I'll uh, I'll try to, I'll attempt that one one day. Mortal Kombat 2 I can do on one coin, but not this one. He probably owned this on Super NES and beat it. Yeah, the, the, the Super NES game of this was very flawed. The game over, you had to continue from the beginning of the level, which a level like this, a really long one, you, uh, it's really hard to get through. That was, hell, I had trouble with uh, the, the second level with uh, Sodom at the end of it. So yeah, October's been a good month. Uh, got engaged on the 12th. Uh, did my last Spartan race. Uh, the, the following Saturday, I was coming back from that. Coming back to work from that really sucked because uh, my badge expired. I actually ended up denting my car. Got a big scratch on it, and I was I was so upset because uh, my badge expired. So the gate wasn't open. Well, there was you could turn around at my at my job, and it was really really small area. So I ended up grazing the uh, pole, leaving some, uh, leaving a nice, sexy yellow stripe on my on my metallic gray vehicle. See, haven't. Uh, my dad and I went out and then uh, I fixed it. Uh, we, we just got some WD-40 and scrubbed it. Uh, it's not all the way off, but it's uh, it's pretty. It's most of it's off. Can't really tell. You can't really tell anything's wrong with it until you look look really close. As you can imagine, this game gets progressively harder as the game goes on. 
armies and armies of enemies. Oh my goodness. Uh, so there's this... On PS2, there was this game called Final Fight Streetwise. It was uh, not very well received. I was excited for it. Oh my god, a new Final Fight game. That's awesome. I, I was at Delta State at the time that, that it came out, and it was it was nothing like this. It was kind of more of like a GTA. Kind of had a GTA feel to it. You walked around town and did quests and stuff. It was very, very gritty. It had F-bombs in it. It's one of the dirtiest games as far as... I mean, it... I mean, it was like beyond, like, bad. Uh... The only game I've ever seen where I had a guy getting a blowjob. It, it was like you walk in this room and there's this sleazy guy in there getting getting sucked off by some some girl. I'm like, ooh. He was a bad guy though. You get you, you to beat the piss out of him. So. Played as a, a completely different character, and uh, uh, you, you meet Guy, and it, it, you're Cody's brother, so you see Cody at the very beginning of it, and you meet Hagar along the way. You meet Guy. Who apparently was like into organized crime. Don't know how that happened, but nothing in that game was canon. They decided on it, so good call. So much cuss words in it, too. You can beat the whole game in less than an hour. Kind of like this one. If you don't watch any cutscenes, uh, one of the cool things they had on there was had a, had a cool little side quest on it. It wasn't really a, a side stuff. I don't know what to call it. Something you can do on the side uh, called the the pit fights. It's like the first thing you do, but you can go around and find these pit fights. Would have been a really cool, neat little side mission thing to do. Do all the get all the pit fights. But there was only like six opponents you can even fight, so it kind of wasn't all that great. Uh, one of them was Cammy from Street Fighter. You could fight her, and it, uh, I wouldn't mind something like this with like an RPG element, like an open world element, kind of like River City Ransom. Where you can run around town, do cool stuff like getting getting pit fights, and I don't know, I'm not really creative when it comes with neat stuff like that, but just an idea too, you know. Andre the Giant. Which is probably why they changed the name. They, it was too close to Andre the Giant. Of course, you have Axel and Slash, that are us characters. This is back, you know, before copyright laws were a huge deal. Oh yeah, two P. One of the bad guys was in the Streetwise game. He was one of the good guys, actually. He was like helping you out, selling you guns and stuff. Then you find out, like, toward the end, oh, it was, it was, he was in, uh, originally, he was one of the bad guys. It's 
it's an interesting story and all that, but you know, the game wasn't all that great. I'm going, gosh. Don't drop a bomb on me like in Ninja Turtles. Anyway. Ow. Oh yeah, the Super NES version also had a... They had male characters replacing the female characters because you know, hitting females was wrong. They were a little politically correct about that, you know. Nintendo didn't want their image to be shattered. In fact, when Mortal Kombat came out, they didn't want blood in it, so they replaced the blood with sweat. I'm sure y'all knew that story. That's why the Genesis version was so much better, because it had blood in it. You had to get it through a code, but it's just still in there. Apparently, everyone who's rich is corrupt. Oh, damn. Yeah, these dudes block, so. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play the second song for today. It's called Afterlife by the band Shapes. Hope you enjoy it. And I'm going to play it for you right now. Enjoy.
And that was Afterlife from the band Shapes. And, uh... No, that was not a typo. I, that is how they spell their name. In case you were wondering. That sounds like an entrance theme, by the way. That's I'm pretty sure there's some Memphis wrestler that comes out to that. So I don't watch that much. Uh, I went to the rec room one night and uh, there was this bunch of... Uh, uh, there was a wrestling thing going on. They have local wrestling. Wrestling. However y'all want to say it. AEW wrestling is pretty freaking sweet, by the way. Uh, if y'all ever get a chance to watch that, it's on TNT. It's really... The wrestlers on there are really good. Like, a lot of them I never heard of. So I'm not real savvy on them. Uh, like Chris Jericho is the world champion and and he's a heel by the way which is uh, if you're not wrestling savvy that's a bad guy there's baby face and then there's heel you gotta have the bad guys in the wrestling world or else it's not gonna be that fun to watch you, know, you gotta have some bully people in there that just gives the quote unquote good guys a hard time. I'm, I may do Fire Pro at some point on, on this on the show because uh I got like a million characters now like off of from comic books and video games and pop culture just have all them beat the crap out of each other it's just fun to watch I know I don't have that much time on my hands So my, my cousins got confused. They were asking me about it. Uh, so I use my phone to uh, play the songs, and they thought uh, they thought I said I actually jacked my phone into the PlayStation somehow. I, I don't remember what exactly. Uh, they said like, "How are you doing?" I'm like, "No, actually." No, I'm actually, uh, no, actually you get, rip it off of YouTube and, uh, and then, uh, and then I edit it in, into the, I mute the, I mute the part of the, uh, video that has a song on there and I replace the audio with the with the uh, mp mp3 and that's how I do it for now it's there's better ways to do it I know but I want this to kind of, I want this to evolve to, I don't want to. I don't, don't want to start off perfect. You know what I mean. Oh, uh, final boss. Uh, we haven't seen this guy anywhere after this game. I don't think. Ah. Ow. 
All right, Cody, you want to finish this off? Cool. Oh, crap. And it's time to go home. Uh, we just broke a window, so uh, we got to we gotta get out of here. Yeah, it, it's... it's uh, game's fun until uh, somebody breaks a window. So we gotta we we gotta hightail it out of here. We don't want mom and dad finding out that we broke a window. There's Guy and Cody are they got the right idea? They're hightailing it out. We'll, we'll let Hagar get take the blame for the broken window. The windows are pretty expensive. They're probably like thirty thousand dollars to replace that window that they just broke. Man, they got out of there quick. I don't know why this happens. That guy's gone. He ain't, he ain't getting busted for the broken window. Anyway, I don't remember what the name of that movie was. I, I, I'll find out and I'll put I'll throw it on the oh I got first place yay D A N so the moral of this story is if you go out beating people up don't break the window it's, uh, it doesn't end well for anybody Ru ruin the fun anyway uh, I'm signing off uh, hope you enjoyed the video and as always, take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and I will see y'all next time.